hey guys welcome back let's see what's going on so i needed to take a little break i was being gang stalked uh, by people in my real life and also on social media uh, psa if i see that you guys are becoming delusional by my reads whether you feel that you're in a relationship with me or you are delusional about your people i will block you I want you guys to stay healthy mentally, physically, and soulfully, and I don't want my collective to be delusional in any way, all right? Uh, so I had to disconnect. I had to clear my energy. Um, if you are a person in my real life that wants to stalk me with evil intention, uh, you can find your way out because I will feel it and I will rebook it, all right? Uh, so whatever you guys want to send over to me, may it get sent back to you the way that you sent it to me. Okay, but feeling good, feeling better. I also had the flu for a couple days, so I just needed to take a break, but I'm glad to be back. We're going to do things a little differently this week. I'm going to do individual signs. We're going to start with uh, the fire signs. Leo, uh, we're going to start with you, and then uh, Sage, and then Aries, all right? And then we're going to move down to the next element. So these are going to be shorter reads, but more reads throughout the week, all right? Let me say my little prayer. All right, Leo, what's going on? So when I was setting up for your read, my camera was doing some funky things. It was taking like still shots. So somebody may be investigating you, a private investigator may be investigating you or somebody's watching you very closely, uh, possibly taking pictures of you when you are unaware of it. All right. Um, also have a card over here sticking up from my love me love me not oracle deck my feelings are growing for you so uh let's see what that's about all right so leo what do we got going on for you okay i know that tarot is for entertainment purposes also to give you some clarity to your situation only take what resonates leave the rest don't make it fit if it doesn't fit and know that roles can be reversed if I say it's you. It could be a person. And I do talk a little dirty. So if you get offended by dirty talk or nudity in the cards, just find your way out of the read at that point. Come again another day. Rootsandrewards.com for personal reads. Judgment calls being made here. All right, Leo, what's going on with uh, the Leos? Leos, you're making a judgment call. Um... about a thief in the night, about seven of swords energy. Now this could be you turning away from your own deception or you're turning away from somebody that put you in deception. You're getting out of your head about this lover, possible uh, Gemini. Okay, let's see, Leo, lovers. Yeah, you're walking away. You're walking away from the spilt milk. You maybe been having arguments with this person, fighting going on. You've been up in your head possibly for the last eight weeks to eight months, maybe the last six months about this person. And now you're just saying, you know what, I need to explore something else and walk away from whatever happened with you guys in this connection. That's the judgment call is you walking away. Even if you have children with this person, you're walking away. Uh, there you are, King of King of Wands and the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Leo Aries Sag. A judgment call to come out of a commitment, come out of a relationship, uh, no longer taking action, no longer dealing with the heartbreak. That this person, uh, maybe it's not just a person, both of you caused in the relationship. This person could have been thieving on you 
or just escaping the issues, just being deceptive. So you're coming out of um, out of this heartbreak with this person, and oh, okay. This person might have went to another person, or you have another person that you've been hiding in the moonlight. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. You're going to be opening up about this lover here, though. There's a lover that's coming to light that's being brought in. So maybe this lover is being brought into if you're not dealing with this person just yet. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is not leaping towards uh, foolish energy or fuck shit anymore. Aries, Aquarius. No longer filling someone's cup up, not wanting a new emotional beginning, not wanting to fill any this. You don't feel love with this person, so you're ending it with them. The Hierophant, commitment in reverse, traveling away from a committed relationship with a possible cancer energy. So you're coming out of the mental conflict and you're coming out of feeling hurt and left out in the cold, crippled. This person may have messed with your finances. They may have taken a lot from you financially. Poverty. This person could have left you in bankruptcy. Or just trying to drain your finances or make you feel like you're poor. They could have been giving you like an allowance of like $500 or something. Trying to keep you under lock and key. But you are um, seeing yourself as the empress or at this point, you are sitting on your throne and really seeing a lot of value in yourself. Understanding that you can manifest whatever you want. This Empress may also be a Taurus Libra Gemini that's coming in for you as a lover. So you're coming out of the, the head space. You're coming out of feeling like you can't get out. All right. So after you get out of this, what's going on? You're cutting it off. You're speaking very truthfully to this person. You could be going cold on them. Stopping um, communicating what you need and what you want to communicate and then cutting it off. Going very aloof. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Where are you traveling towards? You're traveling away from commitment, but where's the Leos traveling to? Um, you may be pulling back on your work. You may want to take a little vacation take some time off like much needed rest uh knight of pentacles so not not working not making yourself work too hard financially but little by little you know easing into it and not putting too much pressure on yourself financially about things. What's the Empress? The Empress is a magician. So you're either manifesting this Empress into you or this Empress is manifesting you. Someone seeing you as the it person that you guys could come together nicely. You may have collaborations coming into Leo. A uh, third party is ending. So if there was another lover, someone's being cut off. If there was person in the family that was getting involved in your partnership, that's being cut off. You're healing now. You're becoming, you're being looked at as the star. See, this person's stalking. Somebody's stalking you. Somebody's watching, keeping a watchful eye on the star. This person's seeing you heal. Seeing you come out of immaturity and insecurity, Leo. They're seeing you become stronger. So, oh, seeing you become emperor and becoming more empowered in your energy. More joy is being restored in your life. Enlightenment is coming in and you're coming out of this rejection. You're coming out of feeling like you're constantly being stabbed in the back by people. But who's, who's the person that's, that's, um, 
this person's watching you, but I don't feel like this is the person that's snapping pictures of you while you're doing things. Who's the person that's investigating Leo's? Who's the person investigating Two of Swords and Knight of Swords? You're going to get some kind of communication coming in. Could be an air sign. Somebody that you left in indecision wants communication. The Hierophant. Your past partner is investigating you. They're keeping watch, full eye on you, tabs on you. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Somebody that you came out of a commitment with. But you're going to get communication about it. I don't know if I'm giving you the communication and then you're going to find evidence of it later on. Or you already know that this person has been keeping a watchful eye on you. Who is this person? Yeah. Five of Wands. So this person knows that you are uh, going towards someone else. That you're giving a cup of love to someone else. And that you're taking your value back from them. And that's throwing them up in their head in decision. And they have heavy burden and heavy responsibility on them knowing that you're you're moving away towards someone else. Leo's um, death. It's an ending with this person. Scorpio energy. It's an ending. This person may want a transformation down the road, but it's not happening. And that's the clarity that's coming in. Uh, you're doing the right thing by walking away from this person. So you're going to get... You're the Empress. Like, the Empress is out here twice. So maybe you weren't feeling like the Empress uh, before because somebody was constantly burdening you and keeping a watchful eye on you and putting a lot of responsibility on your back and making you feel like you were fucking a pauper, you know, begging. Making you feel like a beggar, but... You're, you're coming to some clear knowing that that's not the truth of the matter. That you're actually the blessing. You're the blessing. And I feel like there is an emperor or empress that sees you as such here. Who's this person? That ten of pentacles. See? So you have a healthy, happy partnership here possibly with the Capricorn energy. There's a lot of... Um, lust between the two of you here but there's also you working together and collaborating you building you building an empire this person uh, will help you row away from conflict taurus virgo capricorn and pull you out of boredom and dissatisfaction this is not going to be much of a weight this person you could already be dealing with this person but if you're not dealing with this person just yet in the next three months, three days to three months, this person is coming in to help you get rid of that burden, help you get out of toxic energy, get you out of feeling that you are uh, being manipulated. So getting in the boat with you and rowing away. Leo's. Okay. Yeah, rowing away from the disappointment. You've been cloaking. You've been really disappointed by what's happening in your situation. And you could have been isolating for a little while. Focusing on the spilt milk. Focusing on not being good enough. While, you know, you got two cups behind you, which is, you know, love of self and a soulmate. Standing right at your back. 14, 14 on the clock. Look up that angel number. So you're coming out of this partnership you're coming out of the heartbreak you're resting a little bit easier here the king of wands yeah take an action so you take an action to pull yourself out of this uh boredom you could be taking action towards this uh this empress sunshine this person brings you a lot of happiness a lot of joy 
They make you feel really confident and strong and empowered in your energy. And they have healing. They see you as the star and they have healing properties about them. So this person's going to allow you to shine. They're not gonna they're not here to dim your light. Oh, I just saw the four of wands, so it's a healthy partnership. Could turn into marriage there. Yeah, the four of wands right there. This person's not gonna leave you out in the cold. And they're not here to break you down. They're not here to close up or be defensive with you either. They're wanting to come towards you, travel the world, and close out those past chapters with past energies. They don't want there to be competition or battling or other people in the connection between the two of you. And my feelings are growing. Now I can see that why that came out the way it did. Ten of Cups! So togetherness, growing a family with this person, combining families with this person, a lot of feeling good. That's what's coming in for you guys, you Leos, all right? All right. So it's, it's a good outcome. And this person um, speaks very clearly, too. They have good communication between the two of you feel really uplifted with them. All right. Yeah, they're not going to give you pennies. They're not going to leave you begging for your time and attention. No peace like home. So there was no peace in your home. Now you're gaining more peace as you're elevating. 50. Um, chaos and conflict. That's what's fading away from you, the chaos and conflict. And maybe you're leaving your home or moving somewhere else. And it's like, finally, you're getting into a peaceful space, a peaceful environment where it doesn't feel so chaotic. Uh, somebody was pretending to be a, a giraffe while they were a zebra, you know? It, somebody was pretending. Somebody was like a little rat in the mix. Thirty-three. And unfinished symphony. So you have unfinished symphony with this person that you're going towards. So some of you guys already know this person. You already started some type of relationship with them, but you couldn't go towards them until this situation was wrapped up or this person's not coming in until your situation is wrapped up you may have bird feeders in your yard to the sea so you are really traveling out out of your emotions to a really calm peaceful time some of you guys like to read you're very intelligent leos and the guidance for you guys. Let's see what's going on. Leo's, the heartbreak and agony is over. You are forgiving. You're giving forgiveness. You are loving yourself, receiving love, and you're not regretting the choices that you're making and you're persevering forward and over, you know, you're persevering from the ending. You know, you've grieved enough and now it's time for your abundance to come in and your balance to come in and not to doubt where you're headed and not to stay in denial about the fact that you need to surrender some things here and you have to d stay disciplined in surrendering it. So stop going back to a situation that you're not trusting. You don't trust it. You need change though. You need to make change here. You have a friendship here. You have happiness here with this person you're starting a friendship with this person and then you're going towards an, a, rela a relationship so show your gratitude and be courageous in your moves all right and moonology and then we're going to close it out follow on tiktok roots and rewards jesse ray roots and rewards jesse every thursday night i go live at 7 p.m eastern time over here for your collective love reads and if you'd like to book venmo cash app or paypal everything's in the description box below 
And uh, yeah, throw up your feedback, your emojis. Let me know how these reads resonate with you. Help me help you. Throw me back into the algorithm. Okay, a well, win-win outcome is on the horizon, on the forecast for you. Libra energy, uh, time for healing. So right now it's time to heal, but there is going to be a win-win outcome on the horizon. You could be winning some uh, lotto or um, winning promotions or maybe football boxes or something like that. A personal issue reaches resolution. And that's what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate all the donations, likes and shares and comments you give me on a daily basis. I also have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link uh, below. If you'd like to purchase something for the channel, I like getting gifts. Much appreciated. And I'll see you on the other side. Next up is Aries. No, Sagittarius we're going to do next. All right, I'll see you again. Keep yourself in high regard, guys. Bye.